Hello everyone, here's another retirement video for you. I think I'm going to make this like a series or a, I don't know what to call it yet, a vlog or what have you. But uh, I thought every now and then when it, it strikes me that I'd like to say something about being retired, I think I'll make a video. So here I am. Okay, as I make this video, I'm about 13, I don't know, about 13 months into retirement, 14 months into retirement. And I've made a few other videos in this series you might want to check back on. But uh, the topic I want to talk about today is, although I'm retired, um, I still feel like I, I'm not necessarily able to have all the time that I want, but that's okay. And I'll, I'll explain. All right, well, you know, I'm with my, my girlfriend, and uh, my girlfriend is not retired. She still has to work. Uh, unfortunately for her <laughs> and my girlfriend does not drive now not because she can't drive not because she's uh, not permitted to drive what happened was uh, about ooh, 30 years ago now she stopped driving because uh, before I met her she lived in like the city area so she decided to save money and uh, take public transportation and or walk she didn't really need to worry about a car or driving around anywhere where she was and where she lived. Then she met me and it's a little different where we're living uh, since, I've, since I've been with her. So now I'm kind of her personal chauffeur and let me make this clear because I want everybody to understand. I'm happy to help. I believe that's part of a relationship. That's part of what it is. Um, it's part of when you care about someone. She helps me. I help her and it's all good. And I also have a sense of, I don't know, worth in a way, you know, when you're able to, to be of assistance to somebody and help them along, uh, you feel good, you feel wanted, you feel needed, and, and I'm, I'm okay with all that. So I want to say that from the beginning before people think, oh, this guy, you know, he's making complaints. But let me, let me say, though, at the same time, I'm kind of on call now and then, you know what I mean? Like, one of the things about when you're working is you don't have to punch a clock you don't have to worry about I mean when you when you when you're working I should say scratch that you do have to worry about punching a clock when you're working when you're not working it's supposedly the idea of retirement is you know you you make your own schedule you do your own thing and for the most part I do but in my particular case you know being in a relationship like this with uh, having to be there and to drive her to work and pick her up at times after work too, um, you know, it's a little bit reg you know, regimented. It's kind of like put down in a schedule. Uh, and I'm going to say also here, none of this stuff would I ever give up. You know what I mean? I would rather be in a situation like this with somebody that I'm with, um, uh, having uh, somebody care about, rather than being alone. Um, I know some of you are alone. Some of you don't like being alone. Some of you prefer being alone. Um, I, I can do it. I, I lived the most I was ever alone in my life was after I uh, broke up with my ex-wife. Uh, I think ten months. It was it was ten months that I was kind of living alone, and I didn't really like it at the beginning. You know, I wasn't used to it. But then I started to get to enjoy it a little bit more towards the end, just about the time I met the person I'm with now. But I want to say though that for whatever I'm going to say here, the point is, I would rather not be without without her. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a matter of like, I like to be alone. All right, so take today for example, okay? She has to be in work at one o'clock p.m. Now, as I make this video, it's about 11 a.m., okay? So I've got some time. Now, I'm an early riser. I'm a morning person all the way. I'm not a night owl. Uh, to me, nighttime is for vampires to come out. You know, the world lives, the, the living lives during the day. So I get up early, anywhere from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. If I, if I get up past 7 a.m., I feel like I'm missing something. I like to get up and around. Now already, I got up about 6.30 a.m. today. Already, I've accomplished a lot. I shaved, showered. Uh, there were dishes that had to be done in the sink got the dishes done cleaned that up in the kitchen did that you know my contribution and i also was able to do my morning walk 
you know, I walked about 45 minutes this morning. I do that every morning and uh, got a lot of stuff done. And here I am <laughs> also time to come in the park and make a video about retirement. So I utilize my time in retirement best I can. To me, retirement to me is like is like a party. Enjoy it every day. As, have as much fun as you can, whatever it is, whatever it is you like. It doesn't matter whether you like to, to read or you like to go walking, whether you like to go shopping, whether you want to go take a trip somewhere, take a drive, uh, you know, whatever it is you like to do, do it. And in my case, I, I like making videos, you know, I like watching videos and stuff. I have work on my channel, so I'm happy with all, all that. But it is compromised because... Um, like today, I have to be on call, you know, a little, you know, a little before 1, actually about 12.30 p.m. to be exact. I have to be home and ready to take her to work. Now, that's not usually her hours. The job that she works has different hours. Um, it's not the same hours every day. Usually, the hours are, are, are good. They, usually, they're, she starts at about 10.30 a.m. And she works till about 7 p.m. 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. So that's, that's perfect for me. I drive her there about, about 10 o'clock. We drive there. I drop her off. Uh, I do my walk and I start my day. So usually it works all right. Once in a while, like the last couple of days, uh, yesterday and today, she's had to start at 1, you know. And so I'm kind of like, you know, I got to kind of wait to really do your thing. After I drop her off at 1, then I'm free till 7. So you get the idea? So that's the only thing is that it's weird that in a way retirement was supposed to be like, you know, you're your own boss, you do your own thing and everything else. But, you know, when you have people that you're, you care about, you want to help out too, though, you have to have a, kind of like a, a routine. And in a way, it's like it's as if I'm working a little bit. Also, uh, you know, like any job, there's a lot of stress in, in uh, my girlfriend's job. And like any job, there's things that annoy her about work. You know, sometimes she come, I, I pick her up and she's like, uh, oh, it's, oh, what a day I had today. Oh, let me tell you what happened today. This manager said this, this coworker did that. Oh, I have to do this and tomorrow and next week this one's coming in and there's, you know, they're micromanaging and, I, and I'm driving and I'm, you know, I'm trying to have a relaxing retirement and in a way I'm hearing all the problems about work anyway, even though I'm not working. And again... I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't want to be without her. But I'm just. I'm just saying. Got to make a video here about something. So this is a retirement video. It's an observation that in a way I'm still working in that regard. I still hear the problems of work. I still hear the stressors of work. And sometimes I'm stressed if she's having a particularly bad period. Something's going on at work that she's stressed about. I mean, I'm stressed too. You know, in a way. And but I still believe. That's what uh, couples do. They listen to each other. Lord knows when I was working. Lord knows when I was working as a mailman. I had problems to complain about every day. And I would complain to my girlfriend about it. And she'd listen, you know, and then try to help. And try to offer advice and comfort and all that. So that's all very much a part of it. Um, but it's weird because I still got to kind of punch a clock in a way. But... At the same time, that gives me some structure. Even though I don't have a job and I don't want to work, I don't want a, I don't want a, a, a side job or a, they call it a side hustle or something like that. I don't want a side job. If I have to one day, which I don't right now, I will. Uh, but I'd rather not. And uh, but it does give me structure. You know, it, it does give me a sense of, okay, on most days, 10.30 is the start time of our job. Most of the time, okay, get up. Uh, we have to leave the house at 10, drive there, you know, drive it back, uh, pick her up at 7. Now, she takes Ubers now and then. You know, if something's happening special, like if I can't make it, or there's been times where I've been sick or something, if there's something where I can't drive her there, she can take an Uber, and she's done that. But, you know, Ubers add up in price after a while, you know, taxis, Ubers. So, yeah, well, that's my thoughts on this. It's great to be retired. And uh, I imagine if you were alone, which I'd rather not be, um, it's a, it's more your own schedule. Your, everything you, is, is the way you want it. 
but you got to share your time and budget your time a certain way when you're with someone else. That's it, folks. Cheers. And I hope your retirement is going well. And for those of you who are not retired, I hope you blink your eyes and retirement comes for you like that.